Hey guys, welcome to the Game Feed. My name is Panto6, and today I'm talking about the top five games I'll be playing this fall. Um, as you guys know, it's the holidays, so every single publisher is going to throw their biggest titles to get your money. Um, there's going to be a lot of them I'm not going to be able to play because, let's face it, I'm not rich. But there's five of them that I'm definitely going to try to play, and I'm going to have some gameplay along the way. So to get started, the first game, of course, is Halo 5. That comes out, I believe, on the 27th, and they just released the uh, launch trailer. It had the gameplay. It's actually really good. Um, it featured uh, Muse's uh, Knights of Cydonia, which if you haven't listened to Muse, just do yourself a favor and just go ahead and just buy all their albums, like right now. But, um, I'm actually really excited for it. I played all the Halo games. Um, I devoured all the comics I can, the TV shows, all the spinoffs, and um, I'm just a huge, huge Halo fan. And even though the Master Chief Collection did leave a bit of a um, bad taste in my mouth, I still think that 343 has what it takes to create a great game. Um, I mean, Halo 4 was actually really, really good. Uh, the multiplayer, I didn't care for that, but I've never really been a huge multiplayer guy. All I'm really worried about was the campaign and how that's going to be different from all the other ones. But we'll see. I think it comes out on October 27th, and I'll definitely have some gameplay for you guys to check out there. Now, whenever they had the beta, it actually ran pretty smooth. Um, I didn't notice any problems. It actually ran better than the Master Chief Collection's whole, whole multiplayer suite. But um, definitely excited for it. Now, the next game that comes out afterwards is Black Ops 3. Now, every year, Call of Duty has this way of bringing me back. Um, I don't buy any of the season passes or anything to play the maps because I'm not a big multiplayer guy, um, especially Call of Duty. But I think Treyarch, in terms of studios... Um, they have the best Call of Duty titles, especially Campaign. And the Black Ops series has actually had some pretty decent uh, storyline. Um, and <clears throat> with the transition to a three-year cycle, I think Treyarch's going to have a really, really, really good um, campaign going for it. Um, they've shown off a lot with the Zombies mode, which I'm not really big into Zombies. It's cool and all, but it's not my thing. But um, I was reading recently on NeoGAF that... Apparently, the actual campaign is anywhere from 11 to 14 hours in that range, so most likely it's going to be a 10-hour campaign. But um, I'm actually really excited for it. The beta was really good. Um, it was smooth. Um, it was actually a little bit better than what I played of Sledgehammer's um, Advanced Warfare, which is another one I really, really liked, and I just can't wait to see what a three-year uh, cycle it's going to do with the Call of Duty franchise. Um, now, the next title I'm actually really excited for is Star Wars Battlefront. I put out some Let's Play videos for that. Um, it was earlier last week, and the beta is actually really good. Um, I did not notice any problems server-wise, um, and everything felt really authentic. It didn't feel like a Battlefield reskinned with Star Wars um, the, the sounds, the graphics, um, the heroes and everything, it actually felt like a Star Wars game and I'm actually really excited for it. The gunplay is good. It does feel like Battlefield. I, I can admit that it does feel like it, but it doesn't feel completely like a clone of Battlefield. Now the, uh, EA recently said there's not going to be any microtransactions, but they did this before with, uh, uh, Garden Warfare, if you remember, they're not going to put microtransactions in a year later, microtransactions. But they did offer a season pass for $50, so it looks like they are following the model of the Battlefield expansions, which, to be fair, it's not a bad model. Um, $50 for quite a bit of um, uh, content. Um, some of it's good, some of it's bad. The Battlefield 4 is still actually getting new content even after the season pass, so um, I wouldn't jump the gun and pre-order the season pass until you know exactly what's on it, but it's worth looking into. Now, my next title um, is 
probably my most hyped title, and I don't know why I didn't choose to put it last, is Fallout 4. Um, that's coming this year, and I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to see the light of day for at least a couple more years. And I've every single thing has come out about that game I've watched. Um, I, I'm just really excited. I, I put many, many hours into pretty much every Bethesda title, like um, Skyrim, Oblivion, uh, all the Fallout games. I've pretty much got all the achievements for pretty much most of those games. And I don't even want to talk about how much time I put into them. But um, I'm really excited for Fallout. I uh, get to build my own base, uh, customize the guns. Everything's really nice. The only gripe I have about it is um, your character talks, which I'm not used to that. But there's that one. And my last game, of course, is Rainbow Six Siege. And you probably notice uh, quite a bit of a pattern. Every single game I've mentioned is a shooter. Well, if I name all the other games I want to play, this will be a 10-hour video. But um, actually, Rainbow Six comes out in December, got pushed back. Uh, I was in the beta for the Xbox One, and it's actually really good. Uh, the only problems there were was the server problems, which it's a Ubisoft title, so... It's probably, like, if you've noticed a pattern recently, all their games have had some terrible, terrible problems. Assassin's Creed Unity, Watch Dogs, The Crew, um, <clears throat> and I hope that Siege benefits from the beta. I really do. It was actually a blast to play Terrorist Hunt. Um, I don't know if I'll pre-order the game. I probably won't. The only reason I would pre-order the game is to get Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2 for free. That's the only enticing thing about it. But the game does, it's fantastic. I think it's, you don't see very many console games like that. Um, and it's definitely fun. But those are my games I'm actually looking forward to. Um, if you guys want to share what you're looking forward to, of course I left out things like Tomb Raider, Just Cause 3, um, and I'm sure there's other things, but, you know, those are the big ones that I'm going to be playing. Um, but if you guys want to share what you guys are looking forward to, be sure to hit type it up in the comments below. Also, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I definitely will appreciate it, and I'll love your freaking hearts. Like, I'll just love them. But, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the Game Feed. Again, my name is Panto6. You guys have a wonderful day.